I'm drafting a Grom, folks! I'm drafting a Grom! Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Skitch on Wheels here. I talked in an earlier video about hitting the Cherahala Skyway. Today's gonna be that day. It's not a perfect day. Uh, weather is, it's about 65 degrees, but it's overcast, it's cloudy. We might even get rained on a little bit, but I haven't had the wheels to the pavement for a while. It's time to get on the bike and ride. Uh, today it's a Royal Enfield Himalayan day. I don't know where I'm gonna head except for going to the Cherahala Skyway. It might loop back around. We might do a Tail of the Dragon. I know I'm gonna be on the bike four to five hours. Uh, looking forward to getting out, clear my head. Uh, so come join me. Coming in here to uh, Teleco. Got a video out about four or five months ago where I put uh, the Himalayan on the TAT Transamerica Trail. I uh, had to come in through Teleco too. I'm coming in a little different way, but this is where we pick up the Chelahalo, Chelahalo, Chelahala? I don't know, Skyway. Yeah, I feel like that show hit the back roads of Tennessee. Um, just trying to get out to Teleco a different way here, and it is just really a cool road here. Really feeling comfortable on the Himalayan on these roads. The road less traveled. This is where dogs get you, though. There they are. They're just waiting. Just waiting to get me. Uh, the sad thing is, people do, too. <laughs> that little eight-year-old with his uh, Red Rider BB gun just waiting for us motorcyclists to come by and just do a little pepper shot. I think I can tang it off the helm. I have no idea where I am. I mean, I could zoom out, but that's all right. It's, it's a lot more fun just thinking I'm getting myself deeper and deeper and deeper in trouble. And then figuring a way out of it. I tend to find that I like to be challenged in my writing. Um, yeah, this isn't challenging. Um, I mean, it is a little bit. I'm not saying that it's not, it's not highway riding, but the more I ride, the more I want to feel like I've accomplished something instead of just riding from point A to point B. I want to feel like I've, I've done something. What that something is, I I have no idea. You know, by the end of the ride, I'm sure I can pick out a few things that I I can say, you know what, I, I never would have seen those horses in that field the way I did if I hadn't gotten on this bike and rode out here on this road. So I guess that's something. I wouldn't have smelled those cows if I hadn't gotten on my bike, got out here on the road, and drove by all that cow dung in the field. You know, it's those type of things. It's those experiences that are so meaningful and that you remember. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love. The fakeness if you wanna play toss and wanna hate this, I'll go show up. What? I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness if you wanna play toss and wanna hate this. Talking about it, 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 talking Riding on that horse in that buggy, waving to old Skitch on wheels. My day's complete. I had no idea what today was going to be. 
I can go home, I can rest, and I can uh, I can know that today was successful because I saw something totally unexpected that I didn't think I'd experience, and it was cool. All is good. And by the way, nice Amish family of men. I'm sorry you're on my video. I hope that's okay. I'm sure only a hundred people will see it. Would I like a hundred thousand to see it? Absolutely. So to do that, if you don't mind, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button. Uh, it does tell me I'm doing something that other people like to watch. Uh, I'd do it anyway, quite honestly, but it's fun to watch. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave some comments. Uh, I'm all over Eastern Tennessee. If you want to come out and ride, if you want to see a ride, just let me know. There you go, folks. Entering Cherahala Skyway. What? There's a harness shop up here? What, what the hey? What Harley's here? Chillahalo Skyway, Harley Davidson. Well, I'm in the right place, evidently. You know what's gonna happen, and I, I, I don't care. I'll probably pull over and let people pass me, but this little Hemi of mine is gonna be a slow poke. But maybe not, you know? I said in another video, the Dragon, I could, I think I can outperform my Harley uh, on the Dragon, which has 114 horsepower, my low rider. Um, Compared to the Himalayan has 25 horsepower, I think I can get a better time. So, uh, who knows? You know how a couple videos back I said I wanted to ride the Dragon on the Royal Enfield Himalayan? Well, guess what? Today is the day. That's a big ride today. Um, I'm going to the Chelahawa Hollow Parkway riding it which is where I'm at right now but it's gonna loop up into Robinson uh, North Carolina South Carolina South Carolina North Carolina and um, from there it goes down to Topoka which I've been there that Topoka Lodge and then back out through the dragon and home so it's gonna be a nice four to five hour ride today I'm sure Sweet. Oh, look at the bugs. really peaceful and quiet out here not sure whether to take this loop or not looks like it add quite a bit of time to my route today I want to get back before dark I can hear the bikes around but this looks like to be about a 10 or 15 10 or 15 mile loop Do not know what that was. Taking a little break here, a little battery change. This is kind of a weird area out here. Looks like about a 15. What 
is going on? There's crazy sounds happening. This is where a raptor comes out of the woods and gets you. So really a, a cool destination. This is really an awesome view up here. Yeah, I know it's about riding the bike, but I'll tell you what, it's also about getting off the bike and just looking around and uh, just enjoying the beauty of nature and what you're seeing. Let's get back on the bike. Brushy Ridge. There's a nice overlook. Let's take a look out here. <laughs> well, between the uh, running out of air up here and 25 horsepower, it's hard to get. It's hard to get up and down. No, it, it does fine. <laughs> The Himalayan, even amongst Harley riders and big baggers and all that, it's going to get talked about. Um, you know, no, not always in a good light, but somebody's going to say something. 5,000 foot elevations, 20 mile per hour turns, next 18 miles. 9% great. Tell me you're coming up on me like that. Come on. Scared the crap out of me. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, that's so pretty. Look at those trees, they're goofy. I wonder if everything's dead up here. Yeah, this has been a great ride. Um, as you can see around, though, we're up here on top. There ain't nothing else up here but this highway, so just the camera here. So this must just be over the top of the, the mountain, but nothing up here on top. A lot of riders. It's a busy day. Crazy high up here. And it's just like winter. Ain't nothing growing here. It's 
So coming down the mountain on the other side, I mean, just a matter of two minutes and look how green it is now. What is that? So these ridges, they just go on. Look, one ridge, two ridge, three, four, five, six. They just go on and on. Got a nice BMW. R1250. This gentleman that rides here is a friend of Itchy Boots, he says. Uh, we have about uh, 1,400 miles about. Oh, nice. Where'd you start off from? St. Augustine. Okay. But we went everywhere. You're from here? Yeah, Knoxville. Oh. So, not too far from here. Yeah. For a bike, is better here. Do you snow here in the winter? N not so much Knoxville, maybe once or twice a year, but this will all get snow. Really? Oh, yeah. What happened with the people that live here in the mountains? Yeah, there's not a lot, but they get stuck. They they do, they get stuck because nobody's, nobody's clearing the road. <laughs> you have a safe ride. I tell you what, I am not getting anywhere fast today, but that's okay. It's not the destination, right? It's the journey. Let's keep journeying. Coming into Robinsonville, and it's uh oh, it's beautiful through here. It's warm, 75 degrees. The sun is out. Nice rolly little twisties and curves. Not a lot of traffic. Nothing like the Dragon. Actually, the road looks in better shape than the Dragon. We'll find out. Macy Branch Accessible Fishing Pier. Nantahala National Forest. Taking a little break, I uh, found this little pier, this lake. It's a huge lake out here. We're just seeing a little bit of part of it. Uh, but yeah, it's been a great day, great weather, great ride. Next up, we're heading over to the 129 Dragon. We're gonna take that back home. Uh, should be home in about a couple hours. Uh, how, do you, how do you not have a good day when you're seeing this?
So what is that big two? What the hell is that thing? What the hell is that thing? Let's stop here. Come on. Nice. <laughs> this is bouncing. We are definitely bouncing. I'm getting sick. Alright, I'm truly getting a little nauseated here, but I'm going to carry on. Oh, that would be so much fun to go through there. Why isn't anybody in it? How are you? Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there you are, I see. Limited to four persons. Uh, whoa, that was us. We were four. This is worth watching right here. I don't know how long it'll be till they get here, but they're going to come down through here. I guarantee they're going to take this right side and it'll probably be nothing. But I want to see the other kayak go over the other side. The easy way, of course. Uh, who am I? Oh, nice little drop. Here we are to poke a lodge. I might just stop in there. So we're gonna relax here for a minute to poke a lodge by the river. I know there's those raptors that we saw just a little bit ago. Hang out here, have a beer. They should be down any minute. So let's keep a lookout for them. Yeah, that was pretty cool watching the raptors with the kayaks in them down. It's a great place. Alright, let's go find this thing they call the dragon. Tail of the dragon. Don't know what the big fuss is about. We'll go ride it. Probably show those 
although sport bikers a thing or two about how to ride the dragon what do you say so i wonder where those rafters oh they take out up here i bet yeah stand up here come out there there's the dam we'll take a look at the tree of shame 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 not on it yet don't want to be on it everybody that is on the tree of shame i guarantee you without a doubt without a doubt they never thought they'd be on the tree of shame but they're there yeah here we are heading into deals gap again i think i've said that before on a video hey let's go look the tree of shame yeah i'm a little uh <laughs> underpowered here to be honest with you from what is here and who's riding there's a whole lot of middle-aged men here that have too much money to know what to do with hey there's a royal infield yeah yeah here we go here's the tree of shame i don't see any royal infield parts up there though that is a good sign that's a great sign all these guys with these sport bikes and all these high performance adv bikes you know they're looking at this bike and going oh i wish i had it wish i had the royal enfield himalayan wish i was running through it putting it through the paces with the royal enfield himalayan you know they are Oh, they cleared it off. No stickers. <laughs> so this is a dragon, all right? This is all cool artwork. But, um, yeah. I had a sticker right there. And it's gone. No stickers on the dragon, please. That's funny. Let's see what we want here. Cherahola Skyway. I'm gonna have to get that. The Wall of Woe. Ain't no Himalayans on that. So the trucks, uh, there, there was a landslide, rock slide, from the highway between Knoxville and Asheville, and it closed the interstate down for probably two years. And these trucks had to freaking maneuver through look at this one they had to maneuver through the dragon Jarahala Skyway did it today So we'll sit here for just a few minutes. Um, I'm gonna let him get ahead of us. Now I might pick up someone else that's slower than me as well. And if I do, that's fine, I'll let him go. But I don't wanna be up against somebody.
Yeah, I've run this dragon faster than with this bike than the low rider. Easy. Cause we're because we're getting close to being out. Oh yeah. Oh there's a Grom again. The Grom has it. Yeah, I will not ride this on the weekend with the low rider S, I don't think. At least not with the passenger. And even on my own, I don't think it'd be fun. Folks, I'm telling you, I'm getting sick. I'm going to throw up. You all like to see that? You like to see a grown man throw up in his helmet? I'm ready for some straight roads, I'll be honest with you. you just go off? We'll get you. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'll tell you. Let me track and see where you might get back up. You think it'll start up okay? Yeah. You might be able to hit it straight. Let me go stop traffic. Right. Yeah, you'll be good. You'll be good right here. Heavy bikes and the dragon don't mix, I'm telling you. He's good. I mean, he didn't go crazy off. Um, enough that uh, he's going to take it easy the rest of the trip, I guarantee you. Yeah, and he's probably going to pull off here. Check his bike out. He's lucky. And the problem isn't necessarily him going off the side of the road. I, you know, I hate to say it, but it happens. We do it, all right? It's these guys that are going crazy fast. They can't see ahead, and they come around a corner, and there's people like me that have to park their bike on the side of the road to help this guy. Uh, thankfully, I was down around... It, and I wasn't in a blind spot. It was a slow turn and people could see that something was going on. But that happens in an area that it's not and these people are flying through here. That's where we get in trouble. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. We got a challenge. Look back there. You see what that is? That's a Grom. The Grom is challenging me. Here, I'd put the Grom at a lower level than the Royal Enfield Himalayan, and he's riding my bumper. That's funny, the Grom caught me. I think I'm somewhat slightly embarrassed right now. I'm drafting a Grom, folks! I'm drafting a Grom! Yeah, I've got the Grom. He is wide open cruising at 65 mile an hour and I still got throttle left so yeah I can take the ground oh 
He's crouched. He's going. He's 65. He's 70. He's not 75 because I am, and I'm going to run my tire up his butt. But yeah, I'm drafting a Grom. So I know I'm faster than a Grom. <laughs> I'm on a big bike. And look at him go. He's got a little tire wobble too in the back. Folks, hey, I have total respect for that guy, whoever he is. He has got his drum out and he's putting miles on it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I've done it all today. You see there, if I wouldn't have got on my motorcycle and gone out today, I would not have known that I'm faster than a Grom. Yes, he's also giving the two fingers down. Two wheels on the ground, keep it safe. He is full-blown motorcycle rider. Full-blown. It doesn't matter to the displacement of his engine. He's living life, riding full, having fun part of the motorcycle community and I'd have to agree with him he is although that positioning gets kind of old after a while though I think he priced on my bike and thought roll in build Himalaya and I can take him we're gonna sign off I think I've done everything I can do today what's left on the table you know I've challenged the Grom. I know I could win. I could sleep tonight. Alrighty. Enough excitement for one day. Fun ride, fun time. I think I'm about 20 minutes, 30 minutes from home, which, can you believe this is in my backyard now? Uh, appreciate you watching. As always, stay tuned. We got one more thing with Zoe. Thanks for watching. Sis, what are you doing? Happy Father's Day. Do you know today's Mother's Day? No. Yeah. <laughs> Turn over here, let's see what that shirt says. Let's get you in the light. What's it say? Is that an appropriate shirt to wear? I'm going to sleep in. It's a lot of